Hi, today we're going to make a comparison within the back protector material. This is the back protector material that we get from a regular jacket that we purchase. And uh, this is the well known uh, D3O material that is supposed to be the best protector that I know of. And uh, the experiment that we want to do is we're going to like. Uh, release a ball bearing from a height right about three feet to see how this back protector react you know whether it will be absorb the impact or reflect the impact so let's uh, start with the common back protector that we have here right I'm going to release it like about three feet high. Okay, one time. Yeah, as you can see that uh, the ball bearing actually bounces up for quite a distance. So let's try with the. Uh, the three O material. I'm going to do the same. Drop the ball bearing from about a height of three feet. As you can see, the the ball bearing don't bounce as high uh, as compared to this so maybe it able to disperse the kinetic energy better than uh, the regular foam back protector so take it as what it is but uh, this is the experiment that I, I did so if uh, in case of an impact it able to transfer all those uh, kinetic energy evenly and not passing it through back to us you know like this one because this is more like the energy transfer and then this one is energy absorbed and dispersed out let's see what's the difference between these two right So this is the D30 and this is the regular foam. Okay. Thank you for watching.